G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Right, let's kick off 2018 system setup and product review videos for you for this one. We're going to take a look at the last of Paul Turner's hybrid Linux releases. This one, hybrid Linux XFR. Now, uh, about a week, two weeks ago I think, Paul contacted me here on YouTube, sent me a private message saying that he's this is the last hybrid Linux release. He's taken hybrid Linux as far as he thinks he can take it. And uh, would I give it the back out IT treatment? Now, he's made a few changes between Hybrid Linux KX2 and Hybrid Linux XFR. So some of the changes are, it's full Ubuntu 16.04, um, obviously stripped back to a minimal install. The window manager is XFWM4, replacing Openbox. Got to be honest with you, I think that's a good idea. Uh, resized the panel, added uh, some more desktop icons, fixed and changed all the icons in the menu. Some of the software, he's got a mixture of software available from both XFDE and KX of Hybrid Linux. So he's combined KX and XFDE, which I think is great. Um, got the new Whisker menu, replacing the old Applications menu. Now that should be interesting to look at. A new system font, which is just the generic Ubuntu regular font. Uh, new system theme, so he's put Breeze in it. A uh, new window manager theme, he's got the XFCE 4.4 default. Uh, we've got uh, some new f software, we've got Nemo File Manager replacing Thuna. We'll have to have a look at that. Um, Mint Updater. And uh, some new wallpapers that have been sourced from Exabuntu. So... Let's give the last release of Hybrid Linux, XFR from Paul Turner, the backyard IT treatment, gonna have a sticky beak at it. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are back at Workstation 12 Pro. Now, this VM is locally hosted, so I'm actually putting this on my main PC because obviously with my bare metal hypervisor finally carking it, I haven't got anything else to use or set up at the moment. So, basically it's the same um, same test bench, 4 gig of RAM, dual core CPU, 120 gig drive. There's our ISO, Hybrid Linux XFR. Let's have a sticky beak. I think this will be a bit slower anyway. Alright, here it comes. All right, standard system back setup. L Ubuntu. Let's go into full screen mode for this. Hopefully you all had a nice relaxing Christmas break and a good new year. God knows I did. I actually needed it, to be honest with you. Well, this is marginally slower. Okay, here we go. All right. start. Alright, we'll see how this one installs. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at this. As I said in the introduction, this is the final hybrid Linux from Paul Turner. He He's taken it as far as he, he can. And look, let's face it, when you are, you know, re-spinning or remixing or whatever you want to call it to Linux, you can, you know, it gets to a point where, as an individual in the case of Paul, you can only go so far. Okay, 
this might be a bit slow because it's obviously going on my main PC and I've got other stuff running as well. Worst thing about having to set up the new hypervisor is that I'm going to have to reinstall all my OS's that I use. Like a complete reinstall of it all. bit slower this one isn't it but that's because I've got all the other stuff running on the main PC anyway don't forget we're going to take a look at Anarchy or Anarchy Linux however you want to pronounce it we're going to take a look at that today as well also coming up either today or tomorrow, we're going to look at the new Ferran OS. Now, Ferran's um, sent me a message saying that um, 2018 snapshot's now up, so we're going to take a look at that as well. And knowing Ferran, he will have smashed it out of the park as always. All right. Okay, we're done. Go for a reboot. I did notice some of the more icons on there. All right. I thought it might be a bit slower because of the um, because I'm running this locally, so I'd say it'll be a little bit slower than what it would normally be on um, coming off ESXi. I'm wheezy today. A lot of wind outside at the moment. I've already had a couple of sneezing fits. All right. It's an interesting wallpaper. All right. So the first thing we want to do is get that screen resolution right. Oh boy. Okay. Right off the bat. Fairly impressed here. Um, I've got to find it, don't I? Desktop. Okay. Let's see if we can. Bit of a. Uh, of a hunt around first so I can get that screen resolution right. Oop, no, that's not what I want to do. Where's he put it? <laughs> Where has he put it? That's the time and data, right? for Breeze Dark because I prefer Breeze Dark. Oh boy. A little bit slow coming off a locally hosted system, isn't it? Okay. Be 
down here somewhere probably. There's the KDE settings. Okay, well, what we'll, we'll, we'll go and have a look at everything and then we'll see. So, graphics, we've got Gwenview again, Krita and simple scanning. Internet, we've got FileZilla, Firefox, Pigden, Qubit Torrent, which I prefer, and obviously Thunderbird. Multimeter, out of the box. Oh, that's interesting. We've got Handbrake, we've got Camoso, OBS is in there uh, along with VLC. We've got Vince, KWrite, that's good, from KDE and LibreOffice. Redshift. Let's have a look at some of the settings we've got here. Now we've got no network. Now why don't we have a network? Edit connections. Edit. Um. Why don't I have a network here? Hang on a moment. Um, let's manually do it. Add. Ah. Now have we got one? No. Oh, that's interesting, no network. Still no network. Well, this is a bit problematic. Um, okay, hang on a minute, let's get into networking. All right, DNS servers. DNS address. Lock it. Close. Still no network. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. Alright, let's keep going through it. Um, settings, we've got additional drivers. Let's see if we can... Um, That's, that's weird that there's no... That's, um... That's very strange that it... Automatic search to search additional DNS servers. Hmm. Just bear with us a minute. Hang on a tick. Okay, I don't know what happened there. For some reason it didn't pick up the internet, and I don't know why. You can see there it's now wired. We'll get the connection information. So, I'm not sure what the problem is. It won't, it wouldn't connect to BSD, so I'm not sure what the problem is there. All right, so let's keep going through this. Uh, we've got network connections, we've got JDK, we've got all this type of stuff. Software, you've got the full Synaptic Package Manager, you've got Software and Updates, and the full Lubuntu Software Center. Out of the system control, 
uh, H top. Let's have a look at H top. So it's very light. It's under the 400 meg mark. You're at uh, 386 or 4 gig, um, varying on the cores from the CPU. So it's not it's not that bad. Let's just see if I can actually get to the. Um, If I can actually get to the uh, get out to the E server, I may not be able to. No, I don't know what's up, but the bridge networking it won't actually connect. I've had to. If you notice here. Um, Oh, here it comes. Hang on. Yes. Ah, I can get to it. Oh, beauty. Oh, that is excellent. Okay, so that works well, which is nice. So we can get to the e-server, so that's good. Close window. Let's have a look at the file system. Um, take a look at the etc. file, and there's actually a fair bit there, isn't there? There's actually a fair bit there, which is interesting. Okay, so that's all right. Go and have a look at the internet. We'll see what we get. It should be Firefox 5702, but it may be Firefox 57. I need a new hypervisor desperately, don't I? <laughs> We're at 5703, so that's nice. That's good. And Google is the home page, so that's excellent. Like that. Uh, if we go to multimedia, we'll see which OBS he's put in. And it's 20.10. And with VLC, let's have a look at which one we get. We get Weathermax with it, which is good. So that's actually quite nice. That's actually quite nice. I just need to work out how to uh, change the um, yeah, that's right, so that's good. I'm, I can't actually, isn't this terrible? Oh, that's our home folders. Isn't this terrible? I can't find where I've, I've lost the, um... I can't find where to do the, uh... Okay, so that's all the other consoles there. It's actually quite nice. I'm, I'm, I'm actually reasonably impressed with it. We're going to have a look at Synaptic. I gotta be honest, I'm not as impressed with this one per se as I would be say with, oh there it is, display. I knew it was somewhere. Ooh, lost the icons and everything. Oh, bugger. Okay. Um, look, I've got to be honest. I'm not as impressed with this one as I am with um, KX and KX2. Uh, I'm not meaning to be disparaging to Paul Turner, but I don't think this is as nice as the other two. Fair bit there, though, to, to play with. A lot of libraries available. So there's plenty there for other things. I'll just see if I can refresh the... I've lost the folders again. 
it's all right. It's okay. Go and have a look at it. I'll put a link in the description below to it. I mean, there's, there's a bit there. I personally don't like it. I'm not meaning to be disparaging Paul, but I, I, I think KX and KX2 are the better of, say, the the last three that I've looked at for you. Um, I, everything's there. It's just... Yeah, you know, I, I don't find it as nice. I don't mean to be disparaging by any stretch of the imagination. I just um gonna have a look at the software center. Look at that apps basket. There's the software that's installed. Flash is in there. We'll see what utilities we've got. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not really keen on it. Um, I think KX and KX2 were probably the better of the two that he'd made. Go and have a look at it for yourselves. Like I said, don't be afraid to go and have a sticky beak at it for yourselves. Um, I'm not sure I'll use it personally. Um, just because I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly, oh boy. I'm not exactly impressed, but I mean, look, Paul's done a lot of work with these and I think it's only fair that he be, um, credited with doing a fair bit of work on them, but I just don't. I don't, I'm not keen on this one, unfortunately, Paul. Um, I mean, you've done a lot of work on it, but I'm just, yeah, it's not, it's not my most favourite one. Um, go on and check it out for yourselves. I'll put a link in the description below to have a look at it. Um, but um, I, you guys might find it better than I do. Um, there's our display, there's our settings desktop manager. Got the GTK Plus, we've got the MIME, display settings, um, desktop. Icons. You can see there you can have it, you know. All this type of stuff. Go and have a look at it. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to go and see what you guys think about it. But there we go. Hybrid Linux XFR. We shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.